ಪೂರ್ಣಮದ ಪೂರ್ಣಮಿದ ಪೂರ್ಣಾತ್ ಪೂರ್ಣಮುಜರ್ಚ್ಯತೆ ಪೂರ್ಣಸ್ಯ ಪೂರ್ಣಮಾದಾಯ ಪೂರ್ಣಮೇವಾವಶಿಷ್ಯತೆ ಓಂ ಶಾಂತಿ 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 ವಸುದೇವಸುತ ದೇವ ಕಂಸಚಾನೂರಮರ್ದನ ದೇವಕಿ ಪರಮಂದ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ವಂದೇ ಜಗದ್ಗುರು ಓಡೇಶನ್ ಲೋಡ್ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ದಿ ಪ್ರಿಸೆಪ್ಟರ್ ಆಫ್ ಯೂನಿವರ್ಸ್ ಡಿಸ್ಟ್ರಾಯರ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಫೋರ್ಸಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಡಾರ್ಕ್ನೆಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಬಿಸ್ಟೋರ್ ಆಫ್ ಇಮ್ ಮೋರ್ಟಾಲಿಟಿ ಗೀತಾ ಚಾಪ್ಟರ್ ಇಲೆವೆನ್ ವಿಶ್ವರೂಪದರ್ಶನ ಯೋಗ Lord Krishna revealed his cosmic form before Arjuna. Arjuna was eager to see that form. But when he revealed it, he was under terrible awe. And in this context, Arjuna is now responding to Shri Krishna. Having seen his cosmic form with thousands of heads, thousands of arms, thousands of body and seeing all the occurrences happening, past, present and future. Seeing all those people entering into the mouth, getting out of the mouth, <laughs> some being chewed up. some being licked up a condensed version of the whole universe presented before your vision and it is terrifying but you have to understand your goal is to have a vision all is brahman and in order to have all is brahman you need to ascend steps at least first to start discovering that brahman is all in all your relationships brahman is in all the objects you are touching you are working with brahman is everywhere in all over your body from the toes to the head all is brahman but this climax experience all is brahman will remain in your mind only as a theory you cannot really have it unless you go through sequence allow your personality to be integrated and as your bhakti devotion to god increases there is a god word experience keeping that in view we go into the shlokas of the gita saketi matva prasavam saduk yaduktam he krishna he yadavahe saketi ajanata mahimanam tavedam maya pramadat pranayena vapi ಯಚ್ಚಾವಹ ಸಾರ್ಯ ಮ ಸತ್ಕೃತೋಸಿ ವಿಹಾರಶಯ್ಯ ಸನಭೋಜನೇಷು ಏಕೋ ತವ ಪಿ ಅಚ್ಯುತ ತತ್ಸಮಕ್ಷ ತತ್ಕ್ಷಾಮೇ ತ್ವಮಹಮ ಪ್ರಮೇಯ ಟೂ ಭರ್ಸಸ್ ಐ ವಿಡ್ ಫೋರ್ಟಿ ಒನ್ ಫೋರ್ಟಿ ಟೂ ವಾಟ್ ಎವರ್ ಐ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಥಾಟ್ಲೆಸ್ಲಿ ಸೆಡ್ ignorant of your ignorance rather ignorant of your greatness due to my carelessness or my love for you addressing you as o krishna o yadava o friend considering you merely as my friend you have to understand this from many angles many stages 
from very advanced point of view, all is Brahman. And even your own reality is Brahman. So how you address yourself to yourself hmm. has to go through many, many improvements. But going, not going into too much in the high, highest level, Arjuna is saying to Krishna, having seen that cosmic form, his mind is bewildered that he was constantly with Krishna as his closest friend. Krishna guided him, drove his chariot, even attended on the horses, did all, all services and Arjuna was not aware of who the Krishna was. He had some awareness but not that full awareness. And now suddenly with seeing his cosmic form, Arjuna's mind becomes alert. And he now pleads before Krishna for forgiveness. That thoughtlessly, ignorant of his greatness, I have said many, many words addressing you. O Krishna, O Yadava, O friend. The subtle point is moha-based recognition of anyone is not real recognition or mere moha based relationship is not profound relationship moha based relationship goes after extensive characteristics of your personality just to give you sample of course we don't need sample, the world is filled with it. When two persons meet, they suddenly see a, a beautiful ring on the finger. Now he begins to ask, the person starts asking the story of the ring, where it has come from, etc., etc. Or many details. Where have you been? If you have been in that Taj Mahal, No, tell all the story, all the details. How did it go? Did you take a car? <laughs> or a old style vehicle? And many other details. There is saying, why is saying, Ati parichayat avagya. If you go into too many details, you are not really attending on to the real purpose that is involved in your meeting. And real purpose should be a real relationship. Ghat ghat me hai sai ramata. You should be able to touch a little string towards a revelation that you are essentially not body, mind, intellect. You are related to God. And therefore, do not hold stress in your mind in difficult circumstances. God has done miracles for you from the very babyhood. How do the teeth come out? and how they spring out of your mouth. <laughs> and new words come in. I'm humorously telling small little things. So if you were to awaken a little touch of Sanamati, that will help you to be awakened to your Sanamati as well as in others. Being good, doing good, they go together. 
if you have that type of relationship then your paricha your introductory stage of mind is perfectly commendable but if you don't have that relationship you are simply collecting data about your relationships you are insulting the spiritual potentiality in yourself as well as in others but this is an art so you have to have very great patience to learn it how to face people matri karuna mudita upeksha how certain people you face with friendliness some people you develop a, a sense of cheerfulness people who are already advanced towards them instead of jealousy allow your mind to be joyous because they have proven that it is possible to attain you will also attain so when you look at people who are prosperous instead of being jealous all that you learn if they have attained it i am also similar i have eyes but ears i have the same type of personality i will also attain so it should be encouraging not jealousy producing and when you turn to people who are inferior to you instead of condemning them that what sinful karma they must have done you develop a love just like a mother would love a baby as the baby falls so that type of tender heart and relation towards people who are inferior to you and of course people who are completely dull with with perverted intellect you simply stay far away from them upeksha let god take care of them but even when you stay far from them offer prayers may god lead them to sanmati right understand so if you are doing that you are recognizing divine presence in your own personality you are always with god and yet god is far distant so the purpose of your life is to go on discovering divine identity within your own self as well as awakening the divine identity in others any other details about relationships they are all extensions of moha moha based love in whatever way i might have been disrespectful to you out of mere fun or in play while sleeping sitting or taking food when alone or in the company of others o invincible and boundless one i pray for your forgiveness following the story line arjuna has been closely related to krishna always engaged in fun play even while sleeping coming together sitting taking food or just being alone with krishna arjuna had all that privilege led by his good karma but so far he had not developed that height of spiritual evolution to be fully aware of who krishna was but now suddenly a glimpse of krishna's majesty 
has stirred up all his mind and intellect. And now he recognizes Krishna is God himself. But relating oneself to God requires profound insight. And there are stages that have to be pursued. O invincible and boundless one, I pray for your forgiveness. Pitasi lokasya characharasya tvamasya pujasya cha gurur gargariyan natvat samosya yadhikam kutonyo lokatraye apratima prabhava. You are the father of this creation, consisting of the movable and immovable. Arjuna is as, as if seen the. You will go to a mountain, look at Kailash, even though you have not come close to it, from a distance you see the top of Kailash, and you begin to finger points out. There it is. But it implies your climbing heights, you're going through many stages and ascending it with great patience. Arjuna's state is like glimpsing the goal, and it seems terrifying. You have hardly wings to cover a mile. Now you have to have a big mystic wings to soar to heights beyond imagination. You are the father of this creation, consisting of the movable and immovable. The world is cons- a very broad way of looking at it. There are all movables are the Jeevas, souls, in the form of birds, animals, human beings, immovables are the trees, etc. Still from a broader point of view, your tables, chairs, so many things in this world are immovable. immovable. But the reality behind movable and immovable is the same, God himself. You are the adorable one and the greatest preceptor. There is nothing equal to you in the three worlds. Your three worlds are bhuru, vaswa. All that you experience by your mind and senses, God doesn't come within the range of your mind and senses. He far surpasses. So, the entire world of sense experience has to be given up in order to attain God-realization. That's the statement given by Sannyasa initiation. Nothing of this world your mind should stay with or go after. Because God is nowhere in the world of names and forms. He is beyond the names and forms. You must know the literature is always limited. When I said God is nowhere, doesn't mean God is the only one everywhere. But not in the illusory names and forms. There is none equal to you in the three worlds. So first I describe the Bhur Loka, Bhuvar Loka. All that you experience through your thoughts and feelings, especially feelings, All that world is so entertaining, so involving, 
so complex and boundless and yet in that world predicament you are not in union with god because god's experience experience of being in tune with god simply effaces all your dreams and experiences of the world of your sentiments and feelings so you are not looking for realization of the self in the realm of sentiments it's not a sentimental experience and similarly god is not in the realm of of your intellect in the plane of your limited intellect intellectual thoughts and insights dominate your personality your personality is a blend of three stages of experience bhur loka bhuvar loka swar loka the world of mind and senses the world of feelings and sentiments the worlds of thoughts and insights but beyond all this is the god so there is none equal to you in the three world who then can excel you o being of unequaled power god is advaita non dual absolute how can you find any comparison tasmat pranasya tasmat pranamya pranidhaya kayam prasadaye tvam ahamisham idam piteva putram sakeva sakyu priya priya hasi deva so dhum therefore bowing down and prostrating myself before you i seek your divine grace o adorable lord forgive me just as a father forgives his son a friend forgives his friend a lover forgives his beloved now your attention is directed towards different sentiments which enable your soul to follow the path of bhakti yoga bhakti or devotion to god that's the profound love of god but how to experience love of god through your conditioned mind your mind is used to experience worldly love the worldly relationship in that love can be experienced shant you keep it secret in your mind love is experienced by a mother towards a child parents towards their children love that is experienced between a master if you have a job the director of the job and yourself is the old style allegorical writing is master and the slave you are a slave god is the master love that is experienced between friends and love that is passionate love called sweet love madhurya but these sentiments that you know have to become transformed into divine sentiments allowing your soul to love god 
for your soul to love God, follow any follow these five sentiments or choose any one of them as predominant. But remember, all the five are always there mixed together when you love someone. Here you are loving God. There are times you will be shant. Your mind will not be thinking of anything else but a calm comfort in the arms of divine self. Vatsalya, you develop a relationship that you are a baby and God is a mother. And there comes a time you can change this relation. You are the mother, God is the baby. So how much love you pour down on your baby without expecting anything in return. So why shouldn't you, if God is your great love, then simply pour down your heart to God. Expect nothing. So that movement is vatsalya. Or consider yourself an instrument in divine hand, a slave, God is a master and do his will and do not keep your mind burdened with worries and anxieties or come to a state or develop sakya open your heart to god people have calculations in their mind what should i pray for and if god appears what should i ask people start calculating but that's a kindergarten stage of love. God is soul of your soul. Open-hearted relationship. Never think that you can hide anything from God. So open your heart. And let God inspire you to know even what you don't know about your own heart. So that movement is Sakya movement. Great friendliness. And Madhurya is a complete communion with God. Sweet, supremely sweet. It's a revelation. I and you are one. Remember Hanuman's statement, Deha buddhya to dasoham. From the point of view of the body, I am a slave. You are the master. Jiva buddhya padanshaka. From the point of view of the individual soul, I am a ray and you are like the sun. Atma buddhya tavaivaham. From the point of view of the innermost self, I and you are one and the same. So these are the points relating to Godward movement. And all these divine sentiments which I have described should be brought in your life. You can choose any one of the sentiments as the highlight. But as I said, all other sentiments are always blended together. Adrishtapurvam rishito smi drishtva bhaye na cha brabyat prabyaptitam mano me tadeva me darshaya deva rupam prasida devesha jagannivasa. I'm delighted to see your universal form which has never been seen before. But at the same time, my mind is terrified with fear. Therefore, O oh God, please reveal to me your previous form, O oh God of gods, O oh refuge of the universe. Be gracious to me. Here you have subtle point to understand. 
Arjuna wanted to see his cosmic form, but he had no idea the impact of that form will be on his mind. Similarly, consider you are worshipping your Ishta Devata, Rama, Krishna, whomsoever. Suppose that's Rama. You are seeing Rama in the before you, his form, holding bow and arrows and Nilam, Bujashyamal, Komalangam, all that description of Rama. And it pleases your mind. But then you ask Rama, O oh God, show me your cosmic form. Then suddenly, the picture disappears. A window opens. Expansion. Countless heads. Countless bodies and all the Virat form comes. Now you can't bear with it. Say to God, please stop it. Come back to the earth. But this experience has not been in vain. Now the same normal Ishta Devata constantly reminds you of the cosmic expansion. So your Ishta Devata, remember three stages of Upasana. Sagun Sakar is comfortable to your mind. But it opens the door to Sagun Nirakar. All great qualities, but no, no confinement to form. So, moving to a Sagun Nirakar, your attention shifts from the physical description of God to a cosmic expansion of God. If you are well qualified, you will be completely in harmony with it and inspired by it. You are not well qualified. You need to do more sadhana. You return back to your sagun saka. So allow your mind to have all these extensions. And not only with sagun saka, your goal is nirgun and nirakar. Go beyond all these feelings and imaginations. No matter, no matter how great they are, they must calm down completely in utter silence. Because the entire chitta vrittis that go on projecting the world process, the chitta vrittis are completely withdrawn in Nirgun Niraka. In a storyline, Arjuna says it's this form that was never seen before, never seen before relates to, and also Krishna tells him, O Arjuna, the form we have seen was never seen before and will never be seen by anyone. Not to be taken literal. It simply means nobody who is unqualified will be ever able to see the form. Only the qualified one will have the experience of cosmic form, even though it is terrifying. But that terrifying impact on your mind translates itself in a positive way as you continue your sadhana. In sadhana movement, there is a relationship between God and you. God begins to reveal your higher self, 
workings of your higher self. And when that happens, to give it in a very simple way, you are doing sadhana, did your meditation. And in your meditation, you suddenly, your attention shifted to a visualization that you never imagined. A type of visualization that was awesome. And you, you simply came back from that state terrified. Why are you terrified? Because we are not ready yet. But what you saw was a positive thing. And profoundly inspiring. So continue your sadhana. Until your higher self, lower self, the sound of lower self diminishes. If control of lower self diminishes, now we will appreciate the revelation of the higher self. And this is a progressive movement. Then with this I will conclude for now. Om. Om. Ram, 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 Ram. Om Om Namah Shivaya, Om Namah Shivaya, Om Namah Shivaya, Om. Om Shri Krishnaya Namah, Om Shri Krishnaya Namah, Om. Prayer for shower of Karuna Mayra's grace of God over all of you with the blessings of Shakti, strength, to face challenges in life, bhakti, love of God that makes your life filled with divine sweetness, mukti that brings the revelation, aham brahmasmi, you are brahman, the absolute, you are no longer reflected sons, but you are the sun, and that's called mukti. Om Triambakam Yajamahe Sugandhim Pushti Vardhanam Urvaru Kumbhu Bandhanan Mrityor Mukshyama Amritat Om Sarve Bhavantu Sukhina Sarve Santu Niramaya Sarve Bhadrani Pashyantu Ma Kastid Dukabhag Bhavet Om Shanti 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 Hari Om Tata.